What's up YouTube, Dazwa Beats back with another video. If this your first time to the channel, as always, welcome. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification button to get notified whenever I drop some heat. Alright, today I'm going to show you how to use the generator random events. If you're not feeling inspired, if you're not feeling like you don't know where to turn or what to do to get inspired, you can use the generated random events to get inspired and to start off your beat. And then you can use it to also add top melodies if you make a chord progression and don't know what top melody you want to use. So this is like a helper video to help help you help yourself get through making your beat. You know what I mean? This is getting through the beat process. So let's go ahead let's dive in i'm gonna show y'all my um my npc screen where my screen normally be at the bottom where you see me you're going to see my um npc touch screen so let's go let's get it y'all let's go ahead let's go All right, so now we're inside the NPC, but where my where my face is at right now, we're going to take that out and put the NPC screen on there, all right? Let's go. All right, so to start off, the first thing you want to do is open up a um VST. So we're on track 1. VST, I'm going to use we going I'm going to use something that everybody should have. Um Let's use electric. So what you want to do, look look over here, look over here, alright, look over on the screen on my NPC, so right here, where that pencil is at, underneath your track, next to your track, on the far, um, far right, the pencil, you hit that, and you'll find the generator random events right here, alright? So let's undo that, and then we're going to show you how to do it if you don't have an NPC. So let's close that. So you go to File, Tools, Generate Random Events. Same thing pop up, right? You can follow either on the, on the, the, the NPC or you can follow on screen right here. Anyone that you can follow on. So you go to the melodic events, we're going to leave it on that. So you can also do drum events, but we're going to do for a chord progression, right? Replace all events, there's nothing in there right now, so we can leave it on that. Um, pattern size, we want it to, to be um, 8 bars, or if you want a 4 bar, but I like to use 8 bars. Since we're going to start with a chord progression, you don't want to leave this on 16s because it will give you short notes. So let's put it on bar. The start note, let's do uh, C3 or C2. Let's leave it at C2 and yeah, let's leave it at C4, right? So, what you want to do now is we can leave it on legato, leave it on um, constraint to the notes in the scale, and then this right here, the polyphony, we can move it up to 3. Cause that's going to give us like three notes right so once we're there you can the the density is how how meant how much um notes is on the screen or how little so we're going to start off with let's say 50. let's say 50 percent all right now right here is where you can pick your your um your root note your root note let's do let's say Let's say F, right? F major, or if, let's do F natural minor, right? All right, so let's let's move it up to a hundred, and then hit apply. Let's close that. There goes some notes right there. Let's play it. If you don't like that, we can always hit um, apply again and then play without exiting. <laughs> if
if you like that you can close it just hit close if you hit apply it will change your notes so just hit close right now what you do is you listen out for for what you hear let's bring this Listen out for what you hear and then you can move the notes around. Alright, so we move this in a little bit because it's... Alright, this one stop it, so let's just move it in a little bit. Alright, so listen now. Let's play with the metronome. Alright, so that's, you can keep going if you need to, and that would be your, um, that's your chords right there, right? So, you can either go to track 2, if you want to leave your chords as they is, and go to track 2 and add the top notes, or you can stay in track 1 and add the top notes. So, let's stay in track 1, and we're going to add the top notes. So, you go back to your pencil, right? Bring up generated generate random events now for your top notes this replace all event you need to take that out right and put add to existing event right now your note range where is that right start note remember we stopped on c4 so we need to go from Let's go from uh, let's go from C four now to six C six, right? So everything in between C six is going to be our top notes. So we don't want long notes now. We want small notes. So shorter shorter MIDI notes. So let's start off with um, let's start off with half, right? And we're going to lower it. Let's say the 20. If I there you go. Leave the scale and everything the same. And just hit apply. Let's see what happened. Alright, if you don't like that, just hit apply again. Or first, if you hit apply, it's going to keep everything because it's adding to the existence. So if you didn't like that, all you got to do is hit undo. And then hit apply. Right? Now let's listen. Alright, say you like some of the, those, right? So you close it. If you like whatever you like, you leave. And whatever you don't like, you take out. So this first one, I'm taking this first one out. Right? I like that, like that one. This one can go. Matter of fact, let's leave that one. Now let's go back in again. Right? And... Instead of a half now, let's go to one fourth, right? And just hit apply. Still leave everything as is, add to existing, because we like these ones, so we left them. So now we add into it. And we went to four, and let's just add again. Now let's listen.
all right so that's sounding pretty good to me I like that right so after you get all this you can always change your your VST if you want to right I was just using this just because this is what everybody have so let's go to stay in there we like everything that's in there right let's switch this to one eighth then hit apply if we don't like this one eighth then we can always undo so we're going to hit apply for the one eighth and you see more notes added, right? Now let's go and hit play to see what it sounds like. Now see? that? Let's close it. Let's look at it. You see all these? We can always add and take out and do whatever we want. So for this one right here, I'm, I, I like this here, but then I'm going to take this one out. Right? Take this one right here out. This is overlapping. Take it out. Um... This is overlapping. Bang. And now let's hit play. Alright, so what we can do, let's take the metronome off and listen to it without the metronome. Now what you can also do is right here, you like that everything, let's transpose it up to listen what it sound like now. Alright, let's transpose it down negative two bring it down and let's listen to how that sound alright I like that that came out real nice so let's most of these high notes let's bring them down a little bit because it's a little bit too loud now let's hear it. Alright. Now from there is everything is, is, is easy now. From there what you can do, you can render this to audio. And manipulate the audio if you want to and that's your whole melody right there like right here hit that let's go to audio hold on that my bad let's hit this and let's drag it and drop it down here in our audio in our project so this is it right here so we go to let's mute track one because it will play Let's go to audio, drag it in, let's change the BPM and then warp it so it can all, you know what I mean, stay, stay the same, or you can take the warp off if you want to. Now let's listen. I like to leave the warp on because sometimes I change the, the tempo in my song. So I like to put the warp on and then just add the BPM to this. Make this and this match. 
and then you should be good. See? Now let's listen. Let's reverse it, see what would it sound like. Now let's put bring it back. It's all it's all however you want to manipulate the sound. So you can have fun with this man or if you can play that one, get the scissors tool and then reverse this one. Let's reverse that one. Let's reverse the last bar. Let's listen. So you hear that start right here? So you come right here and you do the fade in. Now let's listen. All right, YouTube. So that's that was that's it, right there. You, I showed you everything. I showed you how to come up with a, if you're getting um, beat block or if you're not feeling inspired, this right here will surely definitely inspire you. You know what I mean? So that's the um, generate random events. All right, let's play it, and we out. See you in the next video. I'll be dropping more videos like this just to show y'all little tips and little tricks. All right. See you in the next one. Let's go, man. Peace.